Hello, my name is Nathan Vader and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be looking at something very special. I had it on pre-order for months or it seems like years. It is the Jurassic World Legacy Collection T-Rex Escape Set and uh, I am very happy with this. I remember seeing it back in, oh it's going to be um, April when this thing was announced and uh, I was on my phone looking and uh, I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I want me some of that. So immediately I pre-ordered this thing and I'm happy to say it's arrived safely on Friday and I can't wait to get this thing out of the box so we're gonna have a quick look around it and then we're gonna rip this thing open and get that Ford Explorer in my hands <laughs> and that Timmy but let's have a look around it and then we'll get inside it so starting with the front of the box here you've got this beautiful box with a window display which I really do like because all the other figure sets you've seen of uh, this Legacy Collection have either been an enclosed box or with an exposed uh, item within the packaging. But I do like this old school method where there is a gigantic plastic window displaying what you're going to get. And you know that when it's on the shelf as well, that no one's going to be able to mess with anything. Uh, no one's going to get their grubby fingers all over the uh, Explorer or the figure that's included. Uh, and in this case, you've got the T-Rex, uh, the Ford Explorer itself and the Timmy figure, which we'll get into once we get this out of the box. But for now, we're just going to have a look around it. So uh, starting from this corner, you've got a nice little display there of the T-Rex, uh, the Ford Explorer and Timmy there. Uh, moving up, you've got the T-Rex in a nice pose actually for the set and uh, the Ford Explorer uh, with uh, Timmy there in the corner with the night vision goggles does look epic and while we're looking here you can see in the background the fallen fencing with all the wires hanging and it's raining uh, it, and also you can see down there as well there is uh, some rainfall on the ground there which is on the dirt I suppose and now uh, you can just make out Rexy's tail uh, along the front there you've got Tyrannosaurus Rex escape pack and if we turn it to the side not much on the side there, just the Jurassic World Legacy Collection logo. And on the back you've got a larger image here showing you the T-Rex escape set with the T-Rex poking its head through the feature uh, that the Ford Explorer has which is a breakaway bit of glass. Uh, you've got Timmy again there and you've got it showing that it has the breakaway roof and it has four opening doors. I don't believe that the trunk opens. Um, you've got an image there of uh, Timmy showing off his night vision goggles <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, Tim there looks absolutely awesome. Um, so I think that's about it apart from uh, an apatosaur there that we've reviewed before. I think it's about time that we get this thing out of the box. I'm not going to mess around anymore I'm just going to cut to this thing being unboxed. And once you've got everything out of the box, this is pretty much it. There is a bit of minor assembly required for Rexy, uh, which involves the tail locking in. It is just like a standard extreme chomping Rex. So with a snap, she's uh, all ready to go. Just gotta make sure that tail's the right way around. Uh... <laughs> I am so sorry. You know what, that, 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 there. There, there, that's the right way. Okay, so once you've got that there, it is a normal extreme chomping T-Rex with a new repaint. Uh, there is a, a dark brown finish along the top and uh, obviously they've stopped that just before the tail starts, which is a bit meh, but uh, I am not bothered. I will probably end up doing a repaint of one of these again anyway. I'm forever doing repaints because I find this T-Rex to be probably one of my favorite for articulation, uh, sculpt, um, and posability. Uh, there is a bit of a paint issue there, if you can see that on the snout. Um, there is some of these uh, small dots um, going around the body, not much. But uh, articulation-wise, it is just like a normal extreme Tom and T-Rex. Loads of range of movement on the neck, 
with like a ball joint, um, side to side pivot, the feature opening the mouth, and lots of detail inside. Arm movement again is in and out. Um, I think there is a ball joint there as well, so it does move in as well as up and down. On the hips there is movement in and out there, and obviously this does go, I think, pretty much 360, but don't do that. Uh, paint apps on the claws, and there should be some movement on the ankle as well, pivot just side to side. It's just, a, just generally a decent T-Rex sculpt that uh, is very befitting for this set. But moving on, we'll put this Rex to the side. The main event, the Ford Explorer and Timmy. I just ran over Timmy. Timmy first. So Tim is an absolutely wonderful sculpt. Uh, if you can make out his face there, it is just glorious. Uh, a little bit of blushing on the cheeks. Um, lovely detail on the eyes, the hair, the lips, the little neckerchief there, and the striping on the shirt, and even the belt. Absolutely amazing. Uh, nice sort of rubberized uh, shirt for movement, for the articulation. Uh, arms do move in and out and rotate. Head also rotate. It's a little bit stiff. And the legs do move back and forth and in and out. There is also articulation on the knee joints and there is also a pivot on both of those two. On the back, nothing much on the back to report really, just, just generally a, a really nice sculpt. And of course to go with that you have got the night vision goggles which are pretty basic when it comes to paint apps. It's just a green and a yellow. I can see myself adding the detail like the lenses and the darker stripes on that helmet and the straps as well but as a, a little nice accessory it's a lovely little nod to the film there and these fit perfectly on Timmy. But now this is what we're here for the Ford Explorer and isn't it glorious? Yes, spared no expense Mattel. Well some but we'll get into that. Um, Firstly, yes, I am very impressed with this. It's a, a great vehicle. Um, lovely attention to detail. Um, paint apps are fab. Um, you see there at the front, you've got your headlights, your grill, your uh, trackers for the track. I think they're motion sensors for the track. Um, you've got your side steps, um, grill uh, covers for the rear lights even down to the XLT model name for the Ford Explorer is exceptional. That's uh, some real attention to detail there. Um, and the Ford logo, the 04 license plate and the Jurassic Park decals on the door. I did notice that this rear quarter section here is actually a decal. So the rest of this is painted on, but this here for some reason is a decal. And uh, if we're going to talk about decals, the whole of the hood here is also a decal, whereas the rest of this is uh, actually painted on. Which isn't too bad, it doesn't um, immediately grab my attention, but uh, if you look closely, you can actually see the sticker now. And this Ford Explorer wouldn't be a <laughs> Ford Explorer without the uh, the glass roof, which is a lovely piece of moulded clear plastic, I have to say. Um, and it has the gimmick where the T-Rex's head would come in and uh, push the glass roof down, trying to get access to Tim and Lex that are stuck in the vehicle too. And of course, on the box, it does say that these doors open, so all four do open, which is amazing. Uh, the front two open a lot more than the rear for some reason. Uh, you can see that there from that uh, image. But uh, as it is, I am not complaining. It's just uh, a bit weird that they are a bit smaller on opening. But uh, you can also see from this aerial view, the detail on the seat, it's like a, a light beige, uh, which is pretty cool. And you've also got the center tunnel, which is a sort of light um, terracotta brown. Uh, you can just about make out the detail there if I zoom in. Yeah, you can see there there's the center console and the steering column 
and where the interactive CD-ROMs would be. Uh, there is one front and there is one rear also. And of course, Tim does fit in this vehicle easily, absolutely easily. Uh, looks very comfortable there. Even noticing the door handle and key lock there, that's a nice amount of detail. Very impressed. Now there is some things that are missing on this, but uh, you know I'm not going to moan too much about them because I, I like to modify some things and uh, this vehicle will be no exception. So there are the BF Goodridge um, tyre markings that are missing on all these. Um, the yellow uh, wheels here should really be hollow in these spaces here, so that's just a matter of painting those black. The windows are meant to be black here, here and around there so there's lots of little bits and pieces to um, take care of I think even the interior door panels even though they are detailed which um, is impressive you can see that there there's the door pull and the little pocket there as well uh, I think all those need to be uh, painted the same color as the seats I think but um, there's not much to do to get this uh, a bit more film accurate but uh, what Mattel have achieved here is pretty phenomenal and I'm, I'm guessing they did this in partnership with Ford um, and uh, what a great thing that has been created um, very impressed but uh, we'll do a couple of size comparisons now so a first size comparison would obviously have to be the Jungle Explorer from the Kenner Jurassic Park line and obviously this thing is huge compared to the uh, Mattel's Ford Explorer because, uh, well, simply Kenner's figures were a lot bigger back in the 90s so they had to accommodate them with a vehicle that would fit so uh, yeah, it is bigger but, um, you know, they do look pretty cool next to each other uh, similar paint apps as well, really I mean, <laughs> yeah, Kenner did not do a bad job and I think this is an excellent um, representation for... Uh, the newer generation of Jurassic Park fans. And next up is the Dennis Nedry Jeep 12, which uh, again, it, it, it looks really nice next to you actually. It's, uh, it seems a little bigger to me. I would have thought Ford Explorers were quite big, quite big vehicles compared to the Jeeps. Um, so yeah, it does seem to be sitting a little bit higher, um, which is probably about right actually thinking about it, but uh, yeah, it does seem a little bit bigger, but still cool. And here is Rexy next to the Ford Explorer. Uh, yeah, it, it's the perfect scale for these two. Um, they really do work well with each other. Um, if I put it so you can see side by side, just the size of this figure to this vehicle. And yeah, it's, it's perfect. Uh, it's the ideal choice for these two to be put in a set. Couldn't be happy with that. And here's a quick go at the action feature for this set where you can push Rexy's nose into the glass to try and get to the kids. Let's see, it only goes down so far and then stops. I've got to say, I'm very happy with how that Ford Explorer turned out. You always see those product images of how it's going to look before it's actually reached the shelves and with the Dennis Nadra Jeep it turned out not so good. But this one, yeah, I'm I'm really happy with it. Obviously I'm going to do some changes to it but that's just how I am. I can never leave stuff alone. But uh, I will give you guys little updates on Instagram of the progress of that uh, in the upcoming weeks. So stay tuned for that. But uh, I picked this up from Smith's Toys. This is retailing at $39.99. Uh, the price point, actually, when I thought about it after a while, it wasn't too bad because you probably would have paid £20 just for that figure alone, the T-Rex. And they originally charged £20 just for the uh, Jeep 18 when it came out in 2018. Um, so really for 40 for the two and a um, Tim... Murphy figure I think is pretty good value actually uh, I can't say anything that bad about it apart from the bits that I pointed out but, um, for those minor faults I can let that go and yeah really happy <laughs> anyway thank you guys for watching my name is Nathan Vader I post on Instagram and Twitter almost daily and of course it's always dry <laughs>
and it's always Jurassic related. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yes? Um... <laughs> yes, of course. Bye for now.